What it is, people? It's your boy Doggy Diamonds. Another episode of Doggy Diamonds No Filter. Today I have on the screen. That's where you say your name. Yeah, what's up? This your girl Robin Rhymes. I like. She was like, uh, who's who's on the screen? She was looking around. Like, no, because I, I thought I heard something in the background. I didn't know if it was a baby or something. I don't yeah, know. It's, I it's, she... it's my niece doing her one two thing. Oh, I thought she paused because of her, so no. I didn't know that you were okay. So yeah, what's up? This is Robin Rhymes. This is yeah. Red Robin. What's yeah. up? We how you doing? So Red Robin, why you call yourself Red Robin? Uh, I wear red hair whenever I battle, so that way they know that it's me. Okay. I mean, okay. Cause nobody I, cause, does hair like you, me. Because when I spoke to you, he was like, yo, let me make sure I have on my red lipstick and everything like that. So I thought it was a, yeah. So um, you got a lot going on out there today. Um, I seen lawsuits. I seen uh, uh, the lawsuit. What is that about? Explain that to me. Um, basically I was contracted out by KG the Poet, a, you know, to come and battle Coffee Brown mm -hmm. on July 17th, 2018 mm -hmm. at the Lexington Theater in Los Angeles for the initiation day one card. And we battled, uh, I thought we had a classic battle. I mean, I don't. You know, I think I can. I've been looking at battles for a long time. I think I know a classic battle when I. So both of y'all were good. She was good, and you were good. Um, you know, she had a. She tried to rebuttal mm -hmm. in the third. She tried to rebuttal in the third. And I think she had like a brain freeze. Mm. So, but she got right back on it. You know, she was just. You know, she's like, I got it, and then she came on, and she, you know, she performed. So we both did our three rounds. Got you. Got you. <clears throat> Everybody was, you know, saying they're looking forward to the battle coming out. Um, I inquired about the status of the battle um, with Beasley um, and with KG as well. Mm -hmm. And uh, how that came about was Coffee tweeted something saying that she, what a waste of footage. She wants her footage to come out or something like that. Like her, as if the footage wasn't coming out. And, um, I forgot me and her was going back and forth on Twitter and people were asking for the battle. So they tagged Norbs and they said, you know, Norbs, hey, what's up with this battle? And then Norbs publicly tweeted, you know, tell K KG to send it. So mm. I, I reached out to my manager told me to reach out to KG. And just see, you know, just inquire on the status because, you know, at this point, we don't even know if it's coming out because we battled in July. This is December. Wow. So um, contact KG at December 20th, 2018. And we, I said, hey, you know, what's the status? I gave him a screenshot of what Norbs had tweeted and said, you know, hey, Norbs is asking for it. You know, do you know the status of it? And he told me that it was still being edited. And I said, OK, I was just following up. You know, no big deal. So, you know, then I January comes and I see her battling and she's using a couple of sentences from my our battle that me and her had. So but you knew the was, bars. You knew the bars was yeah, sound familiar. It, it was my material. Whoa, 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 so, whoa. She used your bars? Correct. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on. She used her bars that she used against you or she used your bars that you used against her? She used my bars against her. She used, she said your rhymes? No, she didn't say the whole rhyme. She was saying a couple of sentences from my material. Okay, let me understand. She's saying stuff that she said in your battle when she battled you. She's saying stuff that I said in our battle versus another female. So she stole your rhymes is what you're saying? Correct. Oh, wow. Yeah. So I, I confronted her about it. And then it blows up into this, um, you know, Hip Hop is Real does an interview saying free the tape. You know, Robin Rhymes calls for URL to free the tape. Coffee Brown gets booked for another battle. Uh, and she does a recap to where she says, you know, Robin Rhymes, that battle ain't coming out. You need to be a lady about it. How does she have this information? I don't know. That's that's what was throwing me off at first. Okay. So I was like, I, I didn't understand it. And I was just like, okay, whatever. We are, we're over the fact that it's not coming out. Let's move on. Let's go forward. Well, then she starts attacking me publicly, 
you know, calling me the devil, you know, this, this is going all the way into June. So I'm just like, okay, y'all aren't releasing the footage. You're not telling me you're not releasing the footage. This girl is walking around getting booked, dissing me. You know, after she battled me, she couldn't do three rounders no more. She had to do one rounders. They had to, they had to sit, put training, training wheels back on her. Mm-hmm. And so I'm like, you know, she's getting booked. I'm not, what's going on, you know? So I had a conversation with Rap Grid and Rap Grid said, hey, send a letter of intent to KG that, um, you know, hey, you don't get this footage, I'm a suit. So when I sent the letter of intent, this is between me and KG private. I sent the letter of intent and KG takes that information and he goes to Twitter and he says, Robin Rhymes is suing me in court. Wow. Right. Then he goes to Facebook and he was like, yeah, she's suing me. I need a lawyer. You know, let's all laugh together. Uh, He puts up a meme of men in black where he's holding the little flash thing to make you forget. Mm -hmm. And then you tell a story. Well, he does the meme of Will Smith holding that flash thing and he puts in captions, what footage? Wow. And then he, he says, well, if I'm going down, Kevin Parks is going down. At the time, I, I didn't know who Kevin Parks was. I say, he who said, Kevin Parks? Ke- Kevin Parks is Coffee's manager okay. who who works for URL. Hmm. He's been working for URL since 2016. I wasn't aware of this. So he says, if I'm going down, Kevin Parks is going down because he has the footage. But you were told that KG had the footage. Correct. Okay. So why does Coffee's manager have the footage? And why does Coffee have the footage? And why is she saying your rhymes? Why is she correct? And why do I not have the footage? I didn't authorize that. So, so and then. Mm-hmm. Go ahead. Go ahead. So, well, so, so all of this happens. All of this happens. What, what is URL's involvement in this? Only because of the manager works for them? Okay, so let me let me let me backtrack a little bit. So Coffee Brown's manager is Kevin Parks. Mm-hmm. Kevin Parks works for URL. So basically, it's already a biased situation because he can determine if she loses. Um, that won't come out because his money is based off of her getting booked. Okay. So it's already biased, like. If if that footage is shown, she won't get booked, and that'll mess with his money. Hmm. You get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Then she battled Diesel. She got another book in on URL with Diesel. Diesel beat her. They didn't put that out as well. So it's like basically you're doing these things to say that this is a winner, but you're hiding the losses. And gotcha. then you're marketing as a loser, but you're hiding my wins. So let me explain how URL got involved. So I sent um, KG paperwork saying that, you know, hey, I'm suing you. He went to publicly defamate me. You know, I guess he went on an interview recently and said, oh, he was making a joke and I took it the wrong way. I don't understand how somebody who's representing URL um, thinks that it's funny to publicly defamate somebody who invested money to come out and perform for a venue that they made money off of. They charged $30 a head on that flyer and they put me at the top with Coffee Brown. So I don't see why that's funny. Like somebody invested money, their own money to come out to invest, to battle somebody who couldn't get an opponent. And you didn't get paid to battle? Did you get paid? I did not get paid, no. Okay. I didn't get paid. So you lost money, you spent money and you didn't get Correct. paid. Okay. Correct. Correct. So um, to explain how URL is involved. So I'm suing KG. Um, I get hit up by the executive producer for URL, which is P in November. And he says, we want to book you versus flames on the royalty card in 2020. Okay. So we worked that out in that contract. Um, I wouldn't, I was not to be paid either, but I put in there fair, and proper promotion. So that's what I put in there in that contract. So keep in mind the lawsuit with me and KG is still going on. Um, I battle on the royalty card. When I talk to PP says, 
that KG held that event unauthorized. Because think about it. Why would I work with the company that is disrespecting me? Hmm. Why would they book me if I'm suing them? They yeah. said KG is not authorized with URL. So, you know, even one of the verbiages in the Flames battle I stated, why do, you know, if I was a white girl, why would I be, y'all would be dying to hear my verse? You know, why would I care about a PG coming out if he going to have to pay me 20000 for it? it? It don't have to come out, you know? And that verbiage was approved by the executive producer before I even went on stage and said it. Why would they allow me to say something about one of their own if, if he's with the company, right? So, all right. So, so let's just get to like the gist of it. The gist of it is you're saying that you did a battle with KG. The only way URL is involved is, did he do it under URL's name or no? He used URL's name on the flyer. And they, but they have, have to known this because they're going to say, yo, you can't do this, right? No, they're not going to say that. What he is, is he's somebody that is authorized to use the URL name to conduct an event. Mm -hmm. and, but he's not, he's not URL. So basically, he can make money using the URL name, but he gives URL a percentage for using the name. But he's oh, not URL. Got you. When we, when we went to court, the question was asked, did you sign a waiver of liability agreement with URL? Meaning you can conduct business using the URL name, but they are not liable for any misconduct on your behalf while representing their name. And he stated, yes, he did sign that. So. You're not even URL. And I feel like, and that's when the case became criminal because you didn't disclose that to me and you're pretending to be somebody you're not in order to get me to perform under false pretenses against my will. So what, if I know that, so what exactly did you sue for? So right now, I what I sued at that time for was breach of contract. We had an oil agreement, which he states we didn't have an oil agreement. However, how did I end up on a URL flyer at the top of the flyer. I'm pretty sure there was some agreement made. You know, anybody can look and see. So you didn't, didn't sign just... a contract either? No, there was not a contract. He couldn't offer me a PG contract because it wasn't a PG. PG is not on the flyer. He wants to apply PG rules to me, but PG is not on this flyer. So because you weren't go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, because I want to know. All right, so you, you you sue him. Did how is that lawsuit still pending? Okay, no. We completed trial on October 28th. Mm -hmm. I recently did a blog and told everyone that the case was dismissed because mm -hmm. the judge did not know what battle rap was. Oh, wow. And once, once it was disclosed that he wasn't even URL, it's like you can't sue for a civil matter when there's criminal activity in the civil matter. So they have to dismiss it because it's a criminal matter. You're pretending to be somebody that you're not. So now not, you would so now you would file criminal charges against them? How does that work? How uh, it, it could go that way. I mean, you know, it just really it's kinda like you suing the bootleg man who says he's blockbuster. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I'm saying? You get to blockbuster, you know, you get to court and you find out he ain't even blockbuster, he's just a bootleg man. Wow. You know what I'm saying? So then what do you do? It's like, okay, you're not even you're not even blockbuster. Like this okay. So um, but URL ended up getting involved. Got you. So how that worked was when we went to mediation, he didn't have anything. He didn't offer me anything. He wasn't offering to settle nothing with me. He provided the contract between me and Flames. Hmm. And I said, wow, that's interesting. The same Somebody guy who you sued provided the contract? Correct. He provided wow. the contract between me and Flames. So I'm like, okay, why is URL's executive producer providing a contract to somebody who's not even authorized? to conduct URL events. Hmm. So I had to contact Beasley and say, hey, since this contract was provided, that means URL is defending him. Therefore, I need to add URL to this suit. Hmm. That's, that's where settlement came along. And the settlement what, was what? The settlement was for the amount that I was suing for, $3,500. Okay. And, and a performance agreement to battle DNA on the Kings and Queens card. Okay. So, all right. So I'm going to, I'm going to go forward. Then I want to go back with, no, I'm going to go backward. Then I'm going to come back to that. So what I want to know is that when you perform, 
what right do you have to the footage? I'm confused. Like, so if you perform and your footage don't come out, I mean, we have battle rappers who have been vaulted their whole career. They vault kings and, you know, what right do you have to the footage? I'm confused. Okay. I have no rights to the footage. The person okay. who records the footage is the actual owner of the footage. I spoke to Rap Grid, which Rap Grid filmed the performance. Okay. Rap Grid told me to sue. You okay. know what I'm saying? So on top of that, in Cali, there is a law that performers can have rights to their footage because you have to think about it. In LA, that's TV land. There are people who do commercials, uh, jingles, all this other stuff. They need rights to that so they can get to their next bag. Gotcha. You get what I'm saying? Gotcha. And people are like, well, why didn't you sue him in LA? What I was told was I needed to sue him in the county that he resided in, which was Arizona. Oh. So that law could not apply in Arizona. You know what I'm saying? If I want to, you know, I'm pretty sure I could reach out the rap read and they'd be more glad to hand it over. Got you. So, you know. So so the settlement it, happens. Uh and you're supposed to battle on the Kings and Queens card, but I ain't see you on the Kings and Queens card. Why didn't you battle on that card? Okay, that's the that's that's the other issue. The issue was I was provided a contract for thirty five hundred to battle and perform versus DNA. The contract was dated November 4th. Keep in mind, I don't know nothing about when Kings and Queens is. I didn't even know they was having an event. So Kings and Queens happened on October 17th. So if you give me a contract that's dated November 4th, you never intended on me battling on Kings and Queens in the first place. But did you get your money? No, I did not get my money because mm -hmm. on the contract, that's another issue with the contract. Hollow the Don came out and said that he received, he provided proof of a contract for him to receive $26,000 not to battle on RBE. So me, just being me, I wanted to look at his contract to see if his contract looked like my contract. Hmm. The contract did look like my contract, word for word, except for when it came to the money. Hmm. When it came to the money part, Hollow the Don's contract said, uh, you will receive deposit, half of it, deposit upon signature of this agreement. Hmm. Mine just says, it doesn't even say compensation. It says consideration of $3,500 to be paid upon after completion of all this other verbiage. But then there's also this $15,000 fine that I can't battle anywhere else if I, if I do. Like, For a period like, of time or just period? Period. Like you can't go nowhere after this. $15,000 fine on you. You go somewhere. You can't go nowhere after this. But it's like, okay. Let's let's backtrack a little bit. I just did an agreement with you for flames. Mm -hmm. I battled with you for flames for free. Mm -hmm. The only thing I put in that contract was fair and proper promotion. Mm -hmm. I had to fight to get it to come on the app. Everybody's battles came out in February and March. Mine didn't come out until May. Mm -hmm. They spelled my name wrong, so you can't even find me. Mm -hmm. And then uh, they were to put it on the Queen of Ring channel, but they didn't put it on the Queen of Ring channel until Labor Day. But mm. the battle was in January. Mm. So, you know, his defense was, well, P this and P that. I said, well, this contract was made between Queen of the Ring and URL. P is not authorized to speak on Queen of the Ring, to be bringing a Queen of the Ring contract into this mediation. So, so that's when, that's when my battle dropped in Queen of the Ring. Got you. So, um, Today, do you have any other issues with uh, URL, Queen of the Ring, P, or anybody else? Um, as far as like any other issues other than this situation, it, it's just more of all I asked for was my footage. I don't see why I'm being attacked when everybody else seems to have it. Gotcha. You know, I don't see any reason to be attacked. Um, I publicly went out and said the case was dismissed. I mean, I you know, kudos to you, but you're looking at other stuff coming your way. So it's like. It's out of my hands. I tried to resolve and settle. I don't appreciate him saying that I'm being difficult. Can I address that real quick? Go ahead, go ahead. He was stating that I was being difficult and I was being a diva and I didn't want to battle nobody with DNA. First off, DNA was offered to me by Beasley. That's mm. not something I said. Beasley offered that to me. I'll be more than glad to provide audio if you want to hear that. how that conversation went. Beasley offered me DNA. So, you know... I don't know where he's getting all this. I only want to battle with top tier male, blah, blah, blah. Now, whenever they said, oh, well, DNA 
was already booked. Like Beasley hit me and he, I said, what's up with the DNA? Because you're trying to switch the opponent now. And he was like, oh, well, he had got booked at the time, the same time that I spoke to you. Hmm. Or what? So now it's like, OK. So I'm like, OK, well, Coffee just got her exclusive on URL would be magic. The Kings and Queens car, all the girls got a top tier meal. So if I'm eating with the company and the company is catering Papa Do's, but they come to me and offer me a plate of Popeye's, hmm. I'm going to say one of two things. Catering one, what? They catering Papa Do's, which is a, a seafood restaurant. Oh, I'm like, what, do you, what are you talking about? Like, what the if they're the catering, uh, let me see, if they're catering Del Frisco's or some Ruth Chris or something to okay. everybody, and then I get hit with some Popeye's. Got you. Whatever, I'm going to say, okay, y'all ain't in court with them. You in court with me. I I, I want some Del Frisco's. Got you. You know, that's what's common. That's, I'm just asking for what you're serving to everyone else. Gotcha. It's more like you're being difficult because you won't accept less. But the thing is, I've two things I want to say. One, I already accepted less when I paid money out of my own pocket to come battle somebody that nobody wanted to battle. I already, you know, she didn't have any. You didn't have anything. So mm -hmm. I already accepted less there Two, You're paying me for the work that I've already done. Mm. And one of the issues was they offered me a performance agreement, but to dismiss the case and move on, I had to submit a, se a settlement agreement. I needed a piece of paper that said settlement to protect both of us. Got you. Like, hey, this is what we, we settled with her. We did what we were supposed to do. Hey, I settled with them. I did what I was supposed to do. And this was supposed to be an open and shut whatever. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know what he's making it like, oh, she wanted uh, $3,500 for some weave or something like that. Yeah, my who, weave was added in who, my... Who's, who's saying this? Uh, KG said this on okay. the podcast interview, saying that, you know, oh, she just uh, she just wanted me to pay for her weave and all this other stuff. And I'm just like, you know, <laughs> bro, I had to pay money. I, I look good when I come out of battle. I can't help it. I look good. You know, that's why the bitches is mad. I look good. What the mm -hmm. hell? Mm -hmm. Shit, y'all trying to hide. Y'all trying to hide me to make sure the other bitches have self-esteem about their motherfucking self. Mm -hmm. What I'm supposed to do? So let me ask you something. What's your, so uh, you you went through these negotiations with with Beasley? Why didn't none of that happen with him? Um, he the last text between me and KG was. Uh, I said Beasley. Well, let me let me explain. Okay. Well, okay. Between me and Beasley, Beasley was trying to give me um, a lesser. Not to say that they was a lesser opponent, but this is just me looking looking look through my eyes as a battle rapper. He said DNA first, and then he switched into... He said DNA, and then, okay, so at the time that he was telling me DNA, me and C3 was to battle here in Dallas. Okay. Right? Now, Queen of the Ring calls. Next thing you know, it's two URL crucibles at this Dallas event. Next thing you know, me and C3 are not going up to perform. You know, so I'm like, OK, so what they did was they're like, oh, we'll take that battle and put it on Queen and Ring and that'll be your settlement. And I'm like, no, no, you just offer me DNA like it wouldn't. How do I say how do I explain it? from a battle rapper's point of view? Mm -hmm. C3 just got rum nitty. Mm -hmm. So she's going to go. All the girls are getting top tier meals. They're going mm -hmm. with their promotion. You know what I'm saying? I don't feel like I would get the same promotion with C3 as I would with DNA. Got you. So I felt like even with Coffee, she wasn't on the Kings and Queens card. She got her own exclusive with B Magic on URL. I felt like I should have been offered the same opportunity. As a settlement a for what they did to you. Correct. As the fact that my son is out here rapping, pretending to be me. Hey, <laughs> settle. Wow. So, so what? So what was your well, last conversation with Beasley like? Or the conversation with Beasley was uh it was it was emotional. I ain't gonna lie, you know, I'm I've learned from this situation to take emotions out of it because I have been emotional, but it was an emotional conversation between me and him, like, you know, hey, this this doesn't seem fair, you know? So um KG contacted me and he said, Robin, we're gonna pay you more than you've ever been paid. Um, but he's making it like 
you're paying me. You're No, you're settling with me. You're not paying me. You're settling with me. You know what I'm saying? You're not going to want to, you're not just paying $3,500 to me. No, they ain't seen me in years. You're not just paying $3,500 to me. You're settling with me. You need to use the settlement word. So stop making it like you're paying. So at this uh, point, why would you do business with KG anymore? I wouldn't do business with KG. He's pretending to be URL and he's not. That's that's my thing. Like Beasley had to step in so that they wouldn't get at it. Once the uh, deadline passed to where they wouldn't be at it, he didn't need to talk to me anymore. So so you all right? So to sum it up, you don't have the battle. Correct. You don't have your money. Correct. What 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 do you have? Where, where you at? I have nothing. Like, <laughs> Like it was just tell my story and now everybody's attacking me and I'm just like, okay, well, you know, this is what happened and it's okay if I, people be like, oh, well, you should have just took the settlement. They weren't going to settle me any damn way. They wasn't going to, you know what I'm saying? It wasn't going to follow through with anything. So who's so, the, so if you, if you had to place the blame of the shady business, the shady practice, who's the culprit in this? Is it culprits it would, or is it? It would definitely be KG. Okay. Um, and and Kevin Parks, they have like a little hustle going on. Like, hey, we're going to throw an event. We're going to throw URL on here. We're only going to release the best people. We're only going to release the West Coast battles because we need the West Coast to get the best look. We're going to vault anybody that beats anybody from the West Coast. And then we're going to shit on them to where they don't get any more battles. That way they can keep looking at the West Coast and they don't look at nobody else. Got you. We feel like the South should be outraged. So you have no issues with URL? Um, yeah, I got an issue with them. Like, what, you know, what's good? Like, I do what I'm supposed to do. I should, I should have fair and proper promotion. I should be included, not included, but I would, if you're going to give Del Frisco's to them, you're going to give Del mm. Frisco's to me. Like, did you sign the contract? The, the if contract. you're working for, I'm sorry? The contract they gave you, did you sign it? No. Okay. No, I did not. No. So what I'm trying to understand, and maybe the people might want to know that I want to know, besides them making you promises, what do they really owe you? No, they don't owe me absolutely nothing. Okay. No, they don't owe me anything. So it's just promises, promises, gas. Promises, gas, talk, or whatever. At the end of the day, you know, you get to, why the question is, why does this girl have my footage and her manager have this footage and I don't, you know? And then on top of that, why are you defamating me? Because I asked for it. But legally, you know? but legally is not your footage legally. Legally. No, it is okay. not my footage. Okay. So you just want to know why the footage didn't come out. Why does everybody have <laughs> access? So basically to sum it up, I don't want to put words in your mouth, but you feel like it's some type of sabotage going on. Correct. Okay. You're trying to sabotage me. Correct. Okay. Okay. And right. for, for the purpose of what? Okay. Right. So, and then there's a, there's a pattern, you know. She, she battled me, vault. She battled Diesel, vault. She battled Misfit and Cortez. That didn't even come out on Queen in the Ring. Like, it seems like whenever there's not a good viewing or not a good showing, it's vaulted or whatever. So, it goes back to bring it back to me. Am I a loser because you have my wins? Or are they winners because you hide their losses? Hmm. Okay. So oh. um, the direct message to anybody right now is your, it's your, your floor really quick. F 10 seconds. Whoever you want to talk to directly, go ahead. Um, just, yo, what's up? Hey, you know, I don't think shit is funny. If I was um, a one, if I was a man, you wouldn't dare defamate me like that. KG wouldn't have defamated me. Um, yeah, I can put my uh, hair in my expenses if I want to. I pay for hair. You know, Geechee Cell Bundle, she didn't have any hair when she battled. She didn't edge not now around and didn't have no edges. Wow. So everything that I give, I give receipts. You can see it for yourself. You know, I don't. He's over here saying that he offered settlement. Y'all heard the audio tapes of us in mediation where he offered absolutely nothing. So. You know, get your paperwork up front. These judges don't respect us having intellectual property. Hmm. And it just is what it is. Okay. Give them all your social media. Uh, make sure you follow me on Robin Rhymes on Instagram, Twitter, um, all the way through. Just Robin Rhymes. 
Just type it in and I'll pop up. It's me, Red Robin. We from Dallas. <laughs> All right, Red is Red Robin a restaurant or something too? Red Robin. Red Robin. It's oh. It's oh, okay. so your name ain't got nothing to do with that, right? Your name don't got nothing to do with that, right? What? Red Robin, the, the burger place, right? Oh, no. Nah. Okay, I mean, yeah, I yeah. do want the burger. Who okay. want it? Okay. <laughs> There we go. All right. So, yo, this is Doggy Diamonds. This is uh, Robin Rods. Make sure you follow her on all social media. Um, on that note, we out. Peace. All right.